What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Gripping and Ripping Fishing. On today's episode, we had an awesome opportunity yesterday to go on the Shotsky, a 62 foot Viking to go after some Marlins. The crew absolutely put us on some fish. They did an awesome job. They had a ton of energy and uh, we had a great time because of it. The captain Josh, the first mate Austin, and then they had a second mate there named Patrick and they crushed it. And I can't say thank you enough to the owner of the boat and my dad for putting this trip together. Uh, we, thank you. We had a, a great, great time. And I hope you, the viewers, enjoy this video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, it helps us out tremendously. And hopefully we'll get out in the ocean some more. That was a lot of fun. And uh, I just had a blast. I hope you guys have a blast watching it. Here we go. At around 4 a.m. we all settled in and we took a very scenic hour and 40 minute ride out to the location where the lines would finally meet the water. The captain couldn't have timed it more perfectly as we arrived just as the sun was coming up. We began by trolling for marlin in over a thousand feet of water. The crew put out the outriggers and used these large squid rigs as teasers to lure the marlin in. And once we got one of these massive fish interested in the teaser, you would reel it in, leaving only the bait and hook out there behind the boat in hopes that that marlin would find it and take it. And just when you least suspected it, the line would snap away from the outrigger and the action would begin. Just like that, we had caught our first fish. I quickly learned that the International Game Fish Association rules state that if the leader line touches the rod tip or the first mate grabs the leader line, it counts as a catch. And without warning, we had another one on.
There you go. Look at that. I just got to see my buddies catch two white marlins, and I thought the day just couldn't get any better. But then we hooked into a blue marlin, and it was my turn. Without being there, it's hard to describe the sheer power that this boat had and how fast we were actually moving for the size of this vessel. The amount of water we were displacing was truly incredible. As we made our way back into the marina, we were just enjoying the views and taking in all the scenery. I learned that it was customary for the crew members to raise flags showing the fish that the ocean blessed us with on this day. I just want to say thank you again to the owners of the boat for giving us a chance at what for some is a once in a lifetime opportunity of catching one of the ocean's most incredible creatures. And another huge thank you to the crew members of the Shotsky for giving us an incredible day on the water and putting us on some fish. And as the White Marlin Open is quickly approaching, wish you guys luck and I hope you fellas get out there and crush it.